Greetings Fencers, today I'm going to share my HEMA journey so far, and afterwards how to get into HEMA. For me, like many, it started out with an enjoyment in medieval fantasy games, movies, etc. like The Witcher, Lord of the Rings, Assassin's Creed, and my other enjoyment was trying to make videos and stories. I wanted to learn a bit of sword combat in order to make videos look good. It pains me to watch the first attempt. We did eventually get better and hope to keep improving and make more. The first thing I came across was Witcher moves by the sword's path. I could barely swing a sword at the time, but always kept practicing those moves and can now do every flourish or technique Geralt does. I don't actually use them in sparring though. But eventually a Blood and Iron Hema video popped up and I began practicing actual cuts. All we had at the time were cold steel swords. We didn't know any better. They hit like clubs and are pretty pointy and have terrible handles. They're very unsafe pieces of training equipment. And to make matters worse, we weren't wearing gloves or helmets. It hurt getting hit. Do not mildly spar without protection. Don't be stupid like us. Over the course of maybe five months, we slowly started to add more protection. Hockey gloves and helmets, and we started going harder. Although we didn't want to injure each other, so we often cut at the sword. We didn't know at the time that that would actually give us bad habits. We would need to train those out of us. You should always be striking at the body. And I look so off balance. I finally saved for two Hema jackets, masks, and swords, and got the Art of Combat written in 1570 to read directly. These were a huge difference. We could finally work on techniques and plays. We could have more people join in and feel safe about it. Our structure and strength was still low, so hockey gloves were still good enough hand protection. But eventually we cut faster and harder, and two or three times from impacts we got bleeding hands, likely by the blood pressure buildup and then the impact popping it. Luckily no broken fingers. We needed heavier gloves and there's nothing safer than spes heavies. We also got steel swords made by Victor Berbekish, which allowed us to feel the difference between synthetic and steel. We focused more on structure and movement, also new weapons like saber and sword and buckler. We got more gear so many people can practice and learn with us, and started to learn from more manuscripts like Fior di Battaglia and Zetel, Charles Roworth, Henry Angelo, 133, and eventually we got tournament steels. And then I decided in November 2018 that I wanted to actually test my skills and interpretation. I was going to go to the Victoria Highland Games in May. Starting in January, I trained almost every day of the week to get myself ready for the tournament. Three days solo drilling, two days running, one day sparring, and watching every seminar and piece of tournament footage I could find. Multiple hour plus seminars by the big names of Hema, and specifically blood and iron tournament footage to see any patterns I could find, and reading every bit of advice I could from the old masters. My training partners were occupied, so I only got to spar once a week generally, sometimes every two weeks. This is where my training did bring my skill above my friends, where before we were quite equal. Jacob got better and better at parrying, and I had to be faster and faster at making my cuts to try and beat him. I didn't want to rely on feints, because I'd seen them cause double hits too much. Flew to BC early and trained a little with Blood and Iron. Although they were who I watched the most, I realized many aspects I figured out myself were quite different to them, even how I cut. I was so nervous stepping into the circle, couldn't feel a thing. He cut and I used Fiore's first play and hit, then running off, then fainting with the point. It was my first time sparring other people and I was expecting to be beat up. I had all these plans to try and exploit them. But all my practicing trying to cut faster than Jacob's parry meant I could cut faster than many of these people reacted. Most after a few exchanges picked up the speed, eventually lost to Kevin de Ritter. Very strong fighter. He won silver. I won the bronze. I was no longer self-conscious if I could actually fight with a sword. I went to Ottawa to compete in points north in the summer. It was very different fighting and tournament judging and scoring. I had to adapt, but didn't do it fast enough. I was eliminated in the quarterfinals. I spent the next eight months practicing thrusting in the bind and specific things to engage this group of fencers and practicing for people who don't prioritize parrying. I found controlled thrust and overbinds working. I hope to go back there and test it. At the same time, I started teaching publicly in 2019, running a Fiore dagger and wrestling class in a somewhat confined space, and longsword classes focus on Bosfecht and Zetel. I have students who are improving every day and becoming adept with the sword. I hope to keep learning new things and being pushed to improve. If you're wanting to start in HEMA, then first check SCA groups and HEMA Alliance for any clubs or people practicing it in your area. There will most likely be other people. You just have to find one. All you need is a stick, and you can drill two screws in it for a cross guard. Start watching YouTube videos, and slowly do plays with each other, and practice on air full speed, helping each other notice stuff. That way you're not modifying the plays based on your current equipment. You can search up manuscript's name and PDF to find online copies to download and start reading, and you can see them all on Wikipedia. 
I had to buy two pairs of everything to get friends to practice with me, so if you're the one wanting to learn, you might be in the same boat. Just slowly accumulate gear, mask, jackets, swords, gloves. Hockey gloves will be good enough to start, but be conscious you have to upgrade or pull your swings. But depending on what equipment you find, you can have slow motion sparring, no thrust sparring, take out an element of risk so you can practice something else right. Purple Art Armory has the biggest catalog in North America. There are many places in both Canada and the US that sell equipment, but you can order overseas too. If you put in the effort, watch seminars, and read manuscripts, you'll be able to start practicing HEMA, even without a club. Then convince a friend, or go to LARPing events, comic cons, other martial arts studios, SCA, and find one other person that you can actually test plays with, and get lots of time with the sword. While watching TV, I'd just be swinging the sword around to make sure it feels like an extension of myself and not a foreign object. There will be a bunch of links in the description to different things, check them out. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing.